Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what is the difference between nightmares and night terrors? It's not unusual in the mental health counseling field to hear about both nightmares and night terrors, but they mean different things. Actually, nightmares and night terrors are completely different things. So let's consider how a nightmare works. To understand a nightmare, of course, you need to understand a dream. A nightmare is a dream that's particularly stressful, causes fear, causes a lot of anxiety, very unpleasant. So people have dreams throughout the night. We have good dreams, neutral dreams, bad dreams, and nightmares. We can think of a nightmare as a bad dream that's so bad that an individual having a nightmare wakes up in the middle of it. And this is what happens. With a nightmare, somebody wakes up and they can usually recall many, if not all, the details of the nightmare. They could provide information on the content, what happened. Was it a sense of falling? Was it a sense of trying to escape someone dangerous and not being able to move fast enough or run fast enough, which are two common themes, or something else? But either way, they can explain it to you. Nightmares are common, and for the most part, they're considered normal. Everybody has nightmares from time to time. We do see reports of nightmares more often in children, and we see reports of nightmares more often in women than in men. Usually nightmares don't indicate a problem, but they can. They can be an indication of something else going on, a lot of anxiety or stress, a traumatic event, changes in medication or reactions to medication can lead to nightmares. So nightmares can be disturbing, they can be stressful, and particularly if they continue to happen over a period of time and interfere with functioning, they can be troublesome. Night terrors work differently. Night terrors occur during non-REM sleep. So moving back to dreams, and nightmares are a type of dream, nightmares occur in REM sleep. And that's when a lot of emotionally charged type of dreams would occur. Some dreams occur in non-REM sleep. Night terrors occur in non-REM sleep. And as I mentioned with nightmares, when somebody wakes up from a nightmare, they can usually tell you a lot of detail about that. With a night terror, when somebody regains consciousness after a night terror, they typically don't remember the content. They don't remember what happened that made them feel so afraid or anxious or upset. So another thing with night terrors that's different is when somebody wakes up from a nightmare, they might be a little foggy from moving from a stage of sleep to being awake, but generally they can put everything together. They can understand where they are, what's going on. A night terror is more disorienting. Somebody who has a night terror, their eyes could be open, they could be moving about, they could be yelling or screaming, and they're not really awake. So they're in an unconscious or sleep-like state, and they are not aware of their environment, and they're not awake like somebody waking from a nightmare would be. Night terrors are more common in children, particularly children between the ages of 3 and 12. Night terrors tend to resolve before or during adolescence, and it's rare that we see night terrors in adults, although it does happen. So what causes nightmares and night terrors? Well, for nightmares, we believe it could be anxiety, stress, a traumatic event, the effect of medication or withdrawing from medication. Night terrors, we're not sure, but we think some of the same potential causes could be there, including traumatic events and anxiety and stress. Sometimes night terrors have been associated with not getting enough sleep. Overall, though, for both nightmares and night terrors, we're really not sure. There's no concrete answer as to what causes them. If nightmares and night terrors become particularly stressful, treatment is available. Counseling treatment and medical treatment can be successful in reducing the occurrences of nightmares and night terrors and reducing the severity. But again, without knowing what really causes them, it can be hit or miss with treatment. Certainly worth getting treated if you feel like the nightmares and the night terrors are becoming problematic. 
I hope you found this description of the differences between nightmares and night terrors to be interesting. Thanks for watching.